I am now joined by Mr. Claude R.P., a well-known China expert and Tibetologist, writer and columnist, joining me from near Pondicherry. Uh, Mr. Claude R.P., welcome to Northeast Live. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, Mr. Claude R.P., uh, you know, you have been keeping a close watch on the India-China affairs. Uh, the question yes. is, there have been reports in a section of the media that China has of late constructed a new village with complete with about 101 houses uh, in the upper Subansari district of Arunachal Pradesh, and there have been satellite imageries to prove, uh, you know, uh, these uh, kind of reports. Uh, what are your uh, comments? Uh, what are your thoughts? Are you aware of these developments? Yes, I have seen the the picture. I have, I have uh, looked at the map, and uh, yeah, that area is definitely south of the Mac Mountain line, which is a uh, de facto LAC. Um, but this, uh, at the same time, uh, this location has been disputed since uh, August 1959. You know, the first uh, border incident took place on 25th of August 1959 between China and India, and uh, some Chinese troops crossed the Mac Mountain line. They came from Migitum in Tibet, which is located a few uh, kilometers from Longju, that place where the village has been built, and they uh, chased away and uh, arrested some of the Assam rifles. So from that time, that place has been disputed. China has been saying that the Mac Mountain line doesn't uh, lay further south, but um, they have never given any maps or uh, any idea of their own perception. You know that, for example, for the um, uh, east, the western sector in the dark, uh, maps were exchanged for um, half an hour in 2002. And for the central sector, they were given, the uh, Chinese perception was given to the government of India. Now, in the case of the eastern sector, uh, the, we have no clue of the Chinese perception of the LAC. I'm not spe speaking about the IB, and as you're aware that China is claiming the entire Himachal Pradesh, Pradesh is theirs. I'm speaking for, uh, about LAC. So now that, that place has been disputed. Till 1962, the um, Indians were patrolling up to Longchu. In the um, correspondence between uh, Chuen Lai and Nehru, there's many uh, documents showing that India protested uh, the Indian patrolling uh, that area. So it has remained till 1962. Later on, uh, India has refrained from um, patrolling this area, though there was uh, an agreement between Nehru and Chuen Lai that this place will, would not be developed. So, right. unfortunately, now China on its own has built that village, which is a change of the statu quo. Now, now, do you think uh, the Chinese, by by building the village, is it one of the tactics of the Chinese to consolidate their claim on the area? And do, how do you think India should respond? That um, I think that village is highly symbolic. That, as I mentioned, it was the location of the first clash in 1959. So, um, according to the ima satellite imagery, uh, there was nothing in uh, September of uh, 19, uh, 2019. So, it means it, uh, most probably that village has been built after the uh, confrontation started in Ladakh. And it was so uh, somehow as a revenge because they have not um, got what they wanted in Ladakh. So they want to show that there are other points on the border where uh, they can uh, create problems. And the fact of putting that village there, which is, uh, I mean, there was nothing, uh, uh, it's, it's out of nowhere. So where will be the people migrating in, in this village? Where well, these people will be the Han people from the mainland China? Will they be Tibetan? Nobody knows. But it's uh, clearly a provocation. Now, um, about uh, how India should react, it's very difficult because there's a long history of not reacting and letting Chinese do what they want in some of these areas, in Arunachal or in Ladakh or even in the central sector 
in place like Marauti. So, but India should uh, be uh, responding firmly, at least by protesting and um, going ahead in the development in, uh, of this area. And uh, I mean, putting roads, giving telecom to the villagers to give all the facilities. It is clear today that the village on the other side have much better facility than the people of Upper Subansari and uh, many of the other three districts uh, district in uh, Arunachal. Of, of, late, of late, India is building roads in that area, and we have spoken to the BJP MP from Arunachal, Mr. Tapir Gao, on, earlier today, and he said that he has been taking up the matter with the central government. He also wants the India to take up the matter very, very strongly with Beige, both Beijing and, if necessary, internationalize the issue. Yes, Mr. Tapir Gao has been regularly, whether it's in uh, Anini, um, uh, area uh, or in uh, Upper Subansari or other places, he has taken uh, in the parliament also, he has taken the issue. So, uh, because the, when this story came up with NDTV, uh, the government gave a very vague answer saying that they are develop, trying their best to develop uh, their area. but. Uh, that is not an answer to the trespassing or the incursion of the Chinese and the building of a village. Uh, incidentally, they have built also a village in um, in Bhutan, uh, two three kilometers south of uh, the the, the uh, Bhutanese border, the China uh, Bhutan border, and um, maybe the Bhutanese didn't know how to answer or what to do about it, so they admitted that it was in Chinese territory, uh, while their own map shows it, it as a Bhutanese. So China is used to do this sort of thing. I think it's a serious issue, and the government should take it seriously and should be bold the way they have been bold in uh, Ladakh. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, otherwise, it will be, re it will be recurring. If uh, in India doesn't do anything in Longchu, on the south of Megiddo, it will be happening in other places because they will take it as a green light to go ahead. Mr. Claude Appy, thank, thank you very much indeed for speaking to Nautis Live.